No, 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 no. Oh, no. This is such a bummer. Oh, I just don't know what is going to happen now. Ooh, there's something spiky in there. Okay, so update. There is, in fact, a pin in this tail. Could feel it on my foot in the monofin that was left in there. Let's get golden mermaids. Mythic tails, a revolutionary type of mermaid tails that combines neoprene, silicone, and resin scales. All masterfully put together, painted, and sent off by the amazing Finfolk Productions team. If you know me pretty well, you will know that I already own two mythic tails. One is the very first generation of mythic tails. The one that I have is a lovely pink, purple, and red color. And the second mythic tail I have is the aerial green mythic tail. But now I shall own three mythic tales. About six months ago, the Finfolk Productions team announced that they would be collaborating with the world famous professional mermaid slash mermaid tail maker, Mermaid Cariel. I have been watching Mermaid Cariel's videos on YouTube for about a decade now, so I can't tell you how excited I am to finally own a tail by her, plus the fact that it's a mythic tail, which is probably my favorite type of mermaid tail, since I have three, you know. They're amazing. It features a whole new fluke, new fins, and new scales, all designed by Mermaid Cariel. And the tail that I got is in the beautiful, royal, classic color of gold. Hello, Merbays! Welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you are new here. If you are new here, my name is Mermaid Zelda slash MZ, or whatever you want to call me, and today I will be unboxing my new mythic gold mermaid tail by Finfolk Productions. I have wanted a gold mythic tail since the very first run of iridescent mythic tails when I got my aerial green mythic tail, so this has definitely been a very long time coming and I think it's gonna have been worth the wait. So anyways, I'm gonna shut the heck up now and open this tail with you for the very first time. Here we go. Today I've got two camera angles. I've got the front view and I also have the top view. So hopefully you're going to be able to see pretty well what's going on here. I'm actually surprised at how fast this tail has got to me, especially because I am in Canada. I did not think I would have this tail today. I did not. I thought I would still have to wait another week or two, but it was such a lovely, pleasant surprise. Oh my goodness, first layer of box is gone. Okay, so I see green bubble wrap. I definitely much prefer bubble wrap over uh, foam peanuts. Lift this beauty out of here. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I have not unboxed like a big mermaid tail, a big mermaid tail in a long time. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Let's freaking get in here. It looks like they've done a very good job making sure that this tail would arrive safely. It's like Christmas all over again. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <gasps> oh my gosh. You guys. Okay, she's like upside down here. Oh my god. She heavy. <laughs> it's a mythic tail. Oh, I'm so excited to see what they've changed since I last got a mythic tail. Whoa, the zipper is so hidden, you guys. Okay, okay, okay. I'm sorry, tail. I need to... Oof. Oh my god, you guys. This fluke. Shiza. Oh my god, I'm so annoying. to be hip fins 
and ankle fins. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. Okay. Um, that's super annoying. <laughs> yeah, it says on the tag, extra small glimmer, hip plus heel, butterfly, um, and medium monofin. So they wrote on the tag that it's supposed to have fins. This is such a bummer. <laughs> oh, it's still beautiful, obviously. Oh, I just don't know what is going to happen now. So to ship it back is going to be a real pain in the fluke. <laughs> or I guess they could maybe send the fins to me, but I don't know how to uh, how to put those on. Oh, man. Okay, I think I need to collect myself here. <laughs> Okay, I sent an email to Finfolk explaining the situation, so hopefully they are going to get back to me very soon. I did a little rant to my mermaid friends, I called my boyfriend, I had a couple tears, okay? Don't judge me, I cry every time I watch Frozen, so it really doesn't take much to make me cry. I know it's so silly, the tale is absolutely gorgeous, I was just so hyped up and I had this plan in my head of how this video was going to go and I was just really not expecting anything like this I was not prepared okay I did not prepare I'm in a very fragile mental state as it is so anyways I do apologize for being a bit of a crybaby but also I don't because it's okay to be emotional one of my mermaid friends said that she has attached fins to mythic tales herself before and that it's not that hard so I guess let's hope that fin folk can send the fins to me and I can put them on well which does make me a little bit nervous because when you spend a lot of money you kind of want it to be perfect the heel fins are $175 and the hip fins are $150 for a grand total of 325 US dollars which converts to $408 Canadian for just the fins plus you know the tail itself so you know I, I was just not expecting anything like this and I always want things to be perfect but sometimes they are not mistakes happen I'm really hoping that the fin folk team will get back to me really quick and make this right for me because I know that they don't want me to be unhappy either but let me just say the tail is beautiful I am very excited about it the gold is beautiful I love the new scales the zipper coverage is absolutely incredible so now I'm going to show you some up close shots of the tail so that you get to see all of those lovely details and then I'm going to try the tail on as well because I still obviously am in love with it and I can't wait to see how it's going to look on. If I do hear back from the Finfolk team before I am done editing this video, I will insert a clip of me with their response and what they plan to do for me. And if that doesn't happen in time, then I will put it down in the description below so that you guys know what's going to happen. And yeah, I hope we can get it all sorted out in a way that makes everybody good and happy but now without any further ado let me show you some close-up detail shots of my beautiful new mythic tale Okay, so now that I'm nice and full of pizza, I'm going to try the tail on. I am in my mom's bedroom because I need her help with the zipper. So let's, uh, let's see how this looks on. Okay, first, ooh, there's something, there's something spiky in there. What's that? That's food. <laughs> something pokey in the monofin pocket, but my foot went in very easily, which is good. So this is a size extra small.
a pin in the monofin, so that's a. Uh, ooh, I think there is. Let's take it off. Okay, so here we have the tail on, and as we can see, it fits, so that's good. Okay, so hooray, the tail fits. I think there might be a pin in the monofin, so I'm gonna take it off and check, because that has been known to happen from time to time. Uh, pins being left inside of the tails. So I'll let you know. It could just be something else that's a little pokey in there. But yeah, it fits. I'm very excited to swim in this tail. You'll have to stay tuned for my first swimming video, which may or may not have fins. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. But yeah, I'm just really happy that it fits and it seems to look pretty, pretty good. I am a goldfish. Okay, so update. There is in fact a pin in this tail. Sorry, you see under, the, right, there's the, the thing. I could feel it on my foot in the monofin. And, pull it out. That was left in there. And I cut my toe just a little bit. So I think this tail hates me a little bit. Nothing's quite, uh, quite going right, but, yeah, I have heard that this has happened to people before, but jeesh, that is a little bit dangerous. So, uh, what a day, guys. What a day. What a day. Well, my Merbays, thank you so much for watching today's video. I really hope you enjoyed watching it, even though we had a bit of a hiccup there in the middle, a bit of an oopsie. Um, I apologize for losing the momentum there a little bit. I was very taken off guard. I was taken by surprise. Um, but I hope you guys don't mind. You got to experience the unboxing with me for the first time and just goes to show that sometimes unboxing a mermaid tail, it's, it's not perfect and mistakes happen, and that's life. But anyways, I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below what you think I should name this tale. I have something in mind. I do typically name them after Disney characters, so I feel like Tamatoa might be a rather appropriate name for this tale because she is so shiny. Or he, maybe it's a he. Who am I to gender my tails? They can be whatever they want to be. But let me know down in the comments below if you have a better idea for a name of this tale. You can also follow me on Instagram at emma.forth and at mermaidzelda to see this mermaid tail in action, in the photos and all the good stuff. And you can also follow me on TikTok at mermaidzelda as well. I love you all so, so much. Thank you for watching this video and watching all of my content. You guys are amazing. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic weekend. And most importantly, I hope I will see you here next Friday-ish for a brand new video. Until next time, bye!